Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This time we'll be talking about useful add-ons. And I will be providing links in the description below where you can find these add-ons and many, many more on the forums. So, the first add-on is Gatherer. This is a must-have, at least for me, if you're going to be mining or herbing. It, uh, this add-on will actually re record where you've uh, took the herb node or the mine node for future reference. You can uh, look at the map and uh, plan routes and stuff. We'll, we'll make... Uh, will make farming that much easier so you can plan out your routes and just go back to the spots you have been to before and hopefully the herb will be there. So let's uh, let's try it out. So I found some steel leaf here just for just, uh, just as an example. So you can see how it works. When I gather it, it pops up on the map. It says one steel leaf, count one. It counts that I have just uh, herb it once. So uh, if you herb it more than once the counter will go up and uh, when you look at the map you can see I've, I've been over here I've been here and there so for future reference if I want some peace plume of if I can just look at my map and, and think to myself all oh, right we've got one there and one there and one there I can go back and hopefully the herbs will be there for the next add-on it's a pack called rapid quest pack that I found on one of the wo one sites it's um, it's from a guy who uh, changed around the meta map. So with this add-on you will be getting this cool looking map here. You will be getting coordinates, you will be getting uh, waypoints, you will be getting to can sh uh, take away the unexplored areas of the map. The knowledge base, nah, doesn't really work with some with these add-ons stuff. Doesn't always work 100%, but uh, the map, the instance uh, maps, they, they work over all right. It's a uh, nice little pack and you will also be getting extended quest log which is a awesome awesome thing it will smooth out the quest log make it easier to see and shift through quests and you will also be getting the uh, wowhead database which will contain comments about the quests and and the coordinates where you can find your quest objectives so uh, the coordinates are actually 99% accurate Sometimes it can be in the uh, general direction of the coordinate, but most of the time it's actually spot on and uh, it will help with the questing. It helped me a lot because I actually needed this to, uh, to quest properly because I just couldn't for, laugh for the life of me remember all the quests where, they, where they're at, stuff like that. Much, much, um, much of the quests here are different and you can't really remember everything so be sure to get this pack it will help you a lot and coordinates are just an awesome awesome thing to have and we'll be and we will be moving on to the next add-on in just a few seconds for the next add-on it's an add-on called super macro this uh, add-on will make the macroing experience that much easier and uh, it will make use of uh, slash equip, slash use, and slash cast commands. And without this, macroing is very tedious. You need to know what to do, or you could go to Google and try to find the correct uh, texts from people that know what to do. And that is just tedious. No one, no one wants to do that. All you want to do is just make a simple macro and you will be ready to roll. And with this add-on, it will en enable you to make simple macros and uh, have a better experience with it. It saved me much time because I, w I was looking for a weapon swap macro. I just couldn't find it. It just was just a tedious process. And I actually stumbled over this add-on on a forum. So I will pr be providing the link below. And uh, yeah, you can uh, knock yourself out with, out with this and play around with it as you see fit. Over to the next one. The next add-on on this little list of ours is a add-on I can't do without. It's a auction house add-on called Auctionator. Uh, without this add-on, it's a tedious, tedious process to post auctions because you have to search manually and you have to put in the price yourself and just put every single item in the uh, little window here. And uh, it's just a tedious process. With this add-on, it's simplified, it's smoother, it's faster. It will save you a lot of time. So you have to put you in your item here, in this case, a ground blood. And it will search the auction house and you will get the pricing. Just get, create a post and uh, it will uh, help you with all the uh, 
stuff you have to do manually without the add-on. So if uh, we put put in nine room cloth, it will scan the auction house page per page. Let's take a little bit of time here. In a perfect world, I would have 20 room cloth to make a perfect example, but I only had nine, so we will have to go with that. And you will uh, get some, something like this. You can just scroll down here and find, uh, find out the uh, prices and stuff. And then you can just post the auction and uh, continue to post all your auctions without having to waste time looking up the prices yourself. And in my opinion, this is a mandatory add-on. The last add-on here on this the list of mine is a add-on called Not Your Enemy Cast Bar, which will be providing you with a cast bar first and foremost. So you can see what the enemy is casting. So you can interrupt it easier and uh, interrupt the right spells. And it will also provide you with, with buff timers, dot timers, and uh, spell gains, cooldown timers, and uh, see who's being CC'd by, uh, what they're being CC'd by, like Polymorph here. It, it will also display uh, snare effect timers. And it will be looking something like this. You will get the spell icon. So you can see which spell is being cast. And uh, it will also say in text here what the spell is called, like Polymorph, Frostbolt, and etc. And you can see uh, how long it will last. This is a great add-on to have, and uh, I can't do without it now since I installed it, and uh, just beautiful. And without this, you won't be able to see the enemy cast bar at all. It's just how vanilla works. So if you if you want to see the enemy cast bar and other useful information, you should download and install this add-on. I will be providing the link below in the description, and you can fiddle around with the uh, settings to your own liking. <coughs> Sorry about that, and uh, yeah, this will be the end of the video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.